so we're starting this video off obviously you know collecting our resources which some of you told me in the last video that I need royal trouble done and these are still kind of old clips so I do not have it done yet but we will in the future obviously so thank you for letting me know and let's get right into it since I have a couple thousand seaweed already in the bank I figured it's probably a good time to get lunar diplomacy done so here we are completing lunar diplomacy which actually now lets us use the super glass makes spell and yeah basically the plan is to just kind of progressively do crafting I don't really want to no life it but I want to do it kind of here and there on mobile I know a lot of people probably rune craft their astrals but I just bought around 2300 I think um, and it was only I think max it got up to was like maybe 200 each so 400k and you don't even need that many for the glass mix spell a few hours later and I got a seed box I wanted to get this out of the way pretty early here that way when I do master farmer because I need a lot of Ranar seeds for the slayer grind and yeah it's just gonna make master farmer a lot more tolerable so the good part about getting this master scroll book here is that I can actually put all of my teleport scrolls in there and save a lot of bank space because I always have a full bank. It is ridiculous. I'm going to let you guys know right now, honestly, all the Slayer I plan to do on this account up until like 87, I plan on using prayer pots for all of it. That was why I got 99 Thieving. And yeah, 60 Slayer, we do all the Weldy tests with prayer pots, and it is wonderful. Here's another pretty junk hard clue skull casket. Uh, in the future, I'm not going to be putting any more of these in unless it's a significant drop. And the future videos are all going to have live commentary apart from uh, probably this video and the next. So yeah, look forward to that. Since I'm only 76 mage, I need a wizard mind bomb up to super glass make. Not going to be a huge deal. It's going to be one extra tick every so often. So with a 1 to 6 ratio for seaweed to bucket, we can use around 2,000 of our seaweed right now. So I'm going to start doing that pretty soon here. Here's a quick little haha -ha level for you. 73 farming. We are going to be doing the glass make here so we can do the farm runs while we are basically getting crafting gains to replenish our seaweed. We already have 20,000. I think it's only taken maybe two hours. And real quickly, I just recorded me actually showing you what I've been doing. And this is the pickup process. And it's not really too bad at all. I, I thought it'd be a lot worse, but with the new X amount to withdraw makes it a lot easier basically I do I believe three inventories worth and then I pick up all the extra molten glass and then continue the process and it seems to be working out pretty well so I don't want this whole video to be based around crafting but here is 70 crafting I'm not gonna keep showing you every single level just the big milestones you know 70 80 and so forth but 15,000 still molten glass to use. With my newly acquired crafting levels, I can make my power amulet, and we are looking good. We are able to take on fight caves pretty soon here, and that is definitely the goal for this video. For my first fight cave attempt, I am using myth bolts, and this is the inventory. If you don't know from my previous videos, I am trash. And look, I died on wave 40. I, I'm, I'm really embarrassed, but... You know, we're going to try again later on in the video. Since I have so many points anyways from doing a lot of Wildy Slayer, figured I should probably unlock Broad Bolts before my next attempt because, frankly, Myth Bolts weren't cutting it. And I do not want to fail again because, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing 2018. With now being 76 crafting, I can boost up to get a Glory Amulet. And that's exactly what I decided to do. I figured I need the best possible gear before I take on Jad again because yeah we're, we're killing this motherfucker so here we are I, I have the stews in the inventory and we're gonna try and get the boost so as you can see we finally got the boost and now we can make our glories and this is gonna be a really useful item obviously for the account huge upgrade from the strength Amy and the power Amy oh and it's also a really good teleport out of the wilderness for all the wilderness slay I'm gonna be doing so yeah really useful and the glories are now officially made and look at this shit we are looking like a beast real quickly I charge these up at the heroes quest area 
And now I can teleport out of the wilderness. I'm ready now for my revenge. And you could probably notice a big difference in the inventory. I went with a lot more prey, a lot less food. And yeah, we'll see if it pays off. Wave 49, we get 71 range. And honestly, that could be the difference between me killing Jad or not. Who knows? That's a trick question, but actually I know. Because this isn't live, so... Ha. Well, the time has finally come. Wave 63... I was shaking in my boots. I, I've only done maybe one or two fire capes in my whole history of RuneScape, so this was quite a big moment for me. I gotta admit to you guys, I was quite pleased with my performance on this fight cave run. As you can see, we are about to kill Jed. Honestly, I would say up to this point on the account, this is the biggest achievement and my most proud achievement, really. So, Jad is complete, Fire Cape has been achieved, we are looking like a fucking snack, look at the, oh my god. So another reason I wanted to get the Fire Cape pretty soon was because I wanted to get access to the new Tazar area, well I guess it's not new now, but there, it, it's just so crazy for Ring of Duels and I always am low on emeralds. About maybe 10 minutes later, 10-15 minutes later, I have 150 freaking emeralds. So, that's a shit ton of Ring of Duels, obviously, and that's going to last us a really, really long time. As you can probably see in the background, we're opening a lot of hard clue scroll caskets. So, I guess a little bit of what I've been doing... I have been killing Twisted Banshees. My goal for the Twisted Banshees was to get 85 combat all through getting strength XP there. Because with the cell vamming you get a lot. And I also wanted to bank really high rune crafting. So as you know we can use the ZMI altar. And you get a shit ton of PRS from these. I also wanted to make some money because the cast stack is looking weak. So yeah this probably seemed like the best grind to do. And I did around 40 hard clues from maybe 20 hours of these if that while these clue roll rewards are going in the background i figured this would be a good time to tell you the plans for the account basically everything i'm doing in the next couple of weeks are going to be progressing towards doing raids i want to be doing raids close to january so i need to get max set by then that means all the zenites all the zora items 87 slayer obviously and we would also need the dragon warhammer so yeah, that's basically what the goals are for more immediate. And all I'm going to be doing probably in the future is progressing towards that 87 Slayer while maxing out the account. I'm going to say 60 attack, 43 prey, probably until max. Unlike my first Iron Pure, I am not going to do raids until I have complete max. So basically... What you can expect in the future is a shit ton of PVMing, quite a bit of skilling, and just working towards that max gear. So, I know I've ranted quite a bit. Oh, and also the future videos are going to be all live commentary, which I'm pretty excited for. So, I hope you guys are as well. Enough said. Switching gears. Here we are, 87 strength. All from Banshees from 81. 81 to 87 strength. All from these ridiculous managed to pull off the heraldic helm which is really good for a few clue requirements and it looks pretty damn sexy well i changed my mind as far as plans go for 85 combat from 87 to i believe i need 91 strength for 85 combat all through wildy slay is now the goal and that way i'm gonna have a shit ton of slayer points unlock everything and we're gonna be sitting pretty for when we're using steve so here's our 50th task it is gonna be ents and oh my god we're about to get so many damn points task complete and we get a juicy juicy bonus of 375 points this was definitely the better option to do and with that huge amount of point increase right there i figured this is probably a really good time to buy the slayer helm so yeah that's exactly what we did slayer helm is being purchased and yeah we are starting to look scarier and scarier i did the math and by the time that i actually get 85 combat i should be close to 100 tasks and if i'm not i'm gonna finish off 100 wildy tasks and the goal should be around 
2,000 Slayer points by the time I'm 85 combat, which is going to be insane. So I've been doing Master Farmer for a couple hours now, and 44 Ranar seeds, total loot of all of this is around 4 mil. From a, It's like a mil an hour. Obviously, I'm not doing it for the money, but so many prayer pots. So here is the total loot from all of the Twisted Banshees that I did from 81 to 87 strength. And yeah, it's about 5 mil just in Elkables. Tons of herb XP, and the pure S obviously is insane. So, also 42 hard clues completed. So, I should probably mention this was 4,000 kills. It's about 10 pure S per kill. And yeah, this is the total loot. It's going to be amazing XP and definitely worth. So, I'm going to end off the video here with 80 crafting. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Like I said, all of the future episodes should be live commentary, and hopefully, on Black Friday. I'm actually going to buy a new desktop computer because right now I use like a potato laptop. So with that, hopefully the production should be a lot better in future videos as far as any lag you might notice or just any oddball things. And my life is going to be a lot easier with this desktop. So hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did and look forward to the next one.